What's up guys, this is Nick from Super Moon Studios and today we're going over yet another super quick camera tip. So this is the first super quick camera tip that I would actually label as more of an intermediate or advanced technique for those of you that are shooting with more high-end cinema cameras. Today we're going to be going over log footage. Now, log footage can be found in some DSLRs and most mirrorless cameras. Primarily, you'll be using it for cinematic productions or on high-end pro-consumer equipment. Now, log footage refers to a flat, ungraded image that you capture with your camera. This means that you are diluting most of the color palette in your actual recording to make sure that all of that information is baked into your image and you can play around with it later in the color grading room. Now, it's called log footage because the equation that is used to create this compression is a logarithmic equation. As we know, the logarithmic function in math and science is actually used to create this kind of data in our camera. So again, what does log footage do? It is a flatter, ungraded image that you are getting out of your camera that has all of your color codec data baked right into it that you can then use to expand and play around with it in the color grading room. This gives industry professionals much more freedom of creativity on their images to create those looks that we are so accustomed to seeing on bigger budget productions. Utilizing log footage, you can get even more details out of your highlights, your shadows, and a much greater dynamic range between the colors in your image. Now, you've bought a mirrorless camera or a cinema camera, and you are now wondering, what do I do with this log footage when I'm in the editing room? If you are in a program like Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere, those programs will come with pre-installed LUT packs or lookup tables. Now, these packaged color codecs are used to pick and choose exactly the colors that you are looking for in your image. You are using them to replace the colors in your log footage and expand and deepen and read the data that is baked into your footage. So when you use a lookup table, you are actually telling your footage which colors you want where in your image, which type of red you would like, which type of purple you would like, and you can really dial in exactly the colors that you are looking for in your image. And this is why we only recommend it for more advanced videography and cinematography. It's a very complicated to understand process because of the way that these colors are used when pre-baked into the image in the editing room. Now again, what is log footage actually for? It's to preserve all of this data in your colors, your highlights, and your shadows to make sure you have a greater dynamic range and precision with your coloring in the editing room. Most of the time when you take your log footage into the editing room, you'll be using a Rec.709 color space, which is just replicating what this image would look like in its most naturalistic form with a basic lookup table. You can then push and pull this image in any direction that you want and really create the color combinations that you are looking for. Always shoot in log footage if you would like greater dynamic range in the coloring room and if you would like to preserve all the colors and highlights in your image. What makes this great is that this type of footage is accessible to people at all levels in the industry and even someone who just shoots and creates footage on their own can utilize the extra advantages of shooting with log grade footage to get better color results out of the footage they are shooting. So that is log footage in the most basic way that we can explain it. And this has been another super quick camera tip. Thank you guys so much and hope you have a great day.